Our correspondent Abimbola Gbebi is there now to bring us up to speed. Abimbola, it's good to have you join us now. Earlier, when we crossed over to you, we saw the visual earlier where election materials were going out. What's the situation now? Yes, Mike, activities are building, beginning to build up here at River State. We are presently at the IMEC Registration Area Center in St. Andrews Primary School here in Perry at Quarter Court City Local Government Area. Now, that is just one local government area out of the 23 local government areas we have uh, here uh, in, in River State. And then, like I said earlier, earlier we had um, IMEC out of officials moving election materials to the various polling units, you know, across Quarter Court City. And if you can see right there behind me, we still have uh, some adult uh, INEC officials waiting, waiting for vehicles that will uh, take 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 that will take them to the various polling units. We have some of them still sitting down, waiting for vehicles that will convey them to the various uh, polling units. Now, uh, at this point, I need to also inform you that at this particular uh, re registration area center, we have eleven polling units here. We have 11 polling units here, which means that voting is expected to take place at this particular registration area center. If you can look closely, far, back, far down there, we can, you can see uh, polling booths there. I make ad hoc officials are set uh, waiting for voters to come around. Uh, I also need to inform you that unlike what we had during the presidential election, there's a little bit different in what we are having, what we are seeing at this uh, particular spot where I am. Uh, last election, what we saw in most that happened in most uh, uh, polling units in different parts of the country, we had election materials arriving late. But from what I have seen in this particular place, uh, we have INEC and officials waiting patiently because all is set in this particular area, but we are yet to see. Uh, voters coming. So uh, if, you compare, if you want to compare this to what we had last time, I think uh, there's a little bit of improvement though it is too early uh, in the day to conclude. But for what we have at the moment, I make out of official at the various uh, polling units we have at this registration area centers, 11 in number, and they are waiting for voters to come in. Um, Mike. All right. Uh, it's a good thing. It's a good sight. Uh, when you pan round for us to see uh, where the, the spread and also letting us know materials and officials have arrived and they are waiting for the voters to turn out and so on. Now, you also, we also like it if you're closer to your camera so that we get your audio very clearly. Uh, however, the, the point there is River State is one state that uh, a lot of people have concern from the issue of insecurity. I, I wonder what uh, people are saying from what your engagement with them in the area of uh, security uh, in their going to vote today. All right, um, activities leading, leading up to this day, I'm talking about uh, two days ago, uh, uh, we had um, the Assistant Inspector General of Police, Kyle Alberto uh, in his um, chat with journalists in River State where he was assuring residents of the state of adequate security before, during and after the exercise. I mean, unlike what we had during the last election in River State, we were made to understand that there were pockets of incidences in different parts of the state where we had ballot for snatching, we had a, a voter intimidation, uh, we had violence in different parts of River State. And this, I guess, was why uh, five police commissioners were uh, deployed to this particular state to ensure that um, we do not have a repeat of what happened the last time and he went ahead to tell us that anyone found trying to foment trouble would definitely have to uh, 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 be dealt with, you know, uh, according to the law. So I can assure you, I mean, coming down here today from what we saw on our way down here, we saw that there's a uh, heavy security presence, you know, at various uh, 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 spots we got to up until this particular place. We also have the security um, officials at this particular uh, uh, registration area center at the various polling units we have here. So I can assure you, Mike, that um, we are likely to see you know, something different from what happened in Rivers the last time from what the uh, AIG you know, said a few days ago, assuring residents of adequate security before, during, and after the election. It's too early to uh, draw a conclusion, but of course, uh, we begin to feed you with more information as the event unfolds here, Mike. All right. Th thank you very much, uh, Abimbola, for bringing us up to speed from Port Harcourt.